Hey Church, Pastor Reed here with our Wednesday update. And it's a special one because it's Holy Week. This is the week where we remember and observe the last week of Jesus' life on earth before he was crucified, buried, and resurrected, and then ascended to heaven as king. And so we've got um, a couple things that we've traditionally done that we are going to do, and they're going to look a little different because obviously we can't gather together in person. So I want to tell you about those things and invite you to engage with them. The first is Maundy Thursday. Maundy Thursday is when we remember the Last Supper of Jesus' life, and it it's a kind of inauguration um, to the sacrament of communion or the Lord's Supper. And for obvious reasons, we're not gathering to partake in this meal. And then maybe for not so obvious reasons, we won't be encouraging folks to do uh, some sort of at-home communion or the Lord's Supper. Now, I don't want to spoil it. So tomorrow night at 8 p.m., uh, Marshall and Cole are going to jump on Instagram Live, and they will talk about what Maundy Thursday is, what it means for the church, why we've traditionally done it, and why we will not be partaking in Maundy Thursday. Um, in our homes this Thursday. And so there'll be a time to ask questions and engage with the message. So I want to encourage you to jump on um, Instagram Live tomorrow night at 8 p.m. One of the things they're going to invite you into is, uh, is on Good Friday, we're encouraging those who can and will participate to uh, consider fasting all day on Good Friday from sun up to sundown. And they're going to talk about why and make that invite, but I wanted to go ahead and mention it so you could maybe plan to join us in fasting that entire day. And then that night on Good Friday at 8 p.m. again, we are going to um, have a Zoom call where there will be prayer and worship and a short message from Marshall um, to remember the day that Jesus was crucified and died. So Maundy Thursday, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. on Instagram Live, uh, fasting on Friday, and then Good Friday, a Zoom uh, meeting or gathering at 8 p.m. as well. You will get um, the link to that Zoom on Friday via email or Slack. And if you miss the Instagram Live Maundy Thursday message, don't worry, we will post that video to Slack um, as well. Both of those things aren't in a vacuum, right? They actually lead up to Easter Sunday, where we celebrate the glorious resurrection of Jesus. And even though we can't gather in person, that resurrection is no less glorious. Amen? And so um, we want to invite you on to YouTube Live, um, where we will have not only an update from one of our pastors, but the full liturgy. So there will be no kind of at-home DIY liturgy on a different web page. It will be all at one place. So if you want to log on to YouTube Live um, at 10 a.m., and join us, it would be a great time to engage with us on the chat. Welcome and grant peace be with you to one another. Um, so I want you to join us on Easter Sunday on YouTube Live. And the additional thing is, this is a great chance to invite people. You know, people are more isolated and anxious than maybe ever in our lifetime. And so we have something to offer as a church, which we've talked a lot about. And so, um, the website sojournmontrose.org slash live is a place where you can say to your friends, neighbors, or coworkers who don't know Jesus or are seeking um, kind of nominally a, a place to call home this Easter, you can say, hey, why don't you go uh, to sojournmontrose.org slash live at 10 a.m. on Easter Sunday morning and engage and, and kind of watch with us during our Easter gathering. I, I promise you they will hear the gospel that morning. In more ways than one. And so um, it's a great chance to welcome some folks in um, that might not have been invited in in some more traditional ways. Um, so I want to encourage you to do that. Uh, Holy Week looks so different this year, and I get that. Um, but it's no less meaningful for us, the church. So I want to encourage you to engage with these things coming up this week um, and invite people into them. That's really our calling to make disciples of the earth and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit and tell them to go and do likewise. That being said, I want to send us off from this weekly update with a with a short benediction. This one's from Hebrews. And really, it's a uh, we've got to get through Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, but I want to give us a foretaste of, of what we're going to talk about on Sunday and really a, a look back on the glorious resurrection of Jesus. This benediction gives us that taste. It says this in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20. Now, may the God of peace 
who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant. May that God equip you for everything good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Would you join us in worshiping Jesus this week um, and every day as we remember who he is and what he has done. Sojourn, go in peace. Hope to see you soon.